It might sound too philosophical, but it's unacting, acting, or acting, unacting. The natural instinct, and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony. Not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. Styles. You just say, "Well, here, here I am. You know, as a, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely?" Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization. You know, I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth, bending, stretching, everything. You know, suppose you know. I mean, you you just keep it moving. Running water never grows stale, so you gotta just keep on flowing. Ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now it is very difficult to do. I mean, it is, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can. Make all kinds of phony things. You see what I mean? Blinded by it, or I can show you some really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, that, my friend, is very hard to do. And you have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving. And when you move, you're determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch, I'm gonna do it, man, and I'm gonna do it. You see, so I mean, so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle. It becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot. It becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend.